Everybody. I am Mr. Lizard, and this here is my assistant, Little Timmy. Hi, everyone. So, Timmy, how would you like to, to learn about water energy and dams? Dams and water what? <laughs> water energy. You know, I can learn that just fine on my own. Oh, there, Timmy. First, if you're planning on going swimming, Take this, for safety. And if you still have something to tell me if I'm not here, you can use my walkie-talkie. Oh, thanks, Mr. Lizard. No problem. Help yourself. Thanks. And here I come. Folks, I have one, too. Now, let's get started! Dams have been made and used to block the flow of waterways for thousands of years. There are different kind of dams. The dams that people make, and dams that animals make. And actually, beavers are pretty much the only pets that we know who make those dams in the wild. In our rock in Egypt, dams were made to irrigate dry farmlands and are still used for irrigation, delivering or sending water to dry land areas. Today, they were also used to generate electricity, control floods, deepen waterways for ocean shipping, and for the water we drink. Thanks, Zoe. Think nothing of it. Refreshing. Mr. Lizard! Mr. Lizard? Huh? You, Timmy? Mr. Lizard, I'm letting you know that I don't see a dam yet. When am I gonna see one? It takes time. You might run into one that was made from beavers, or one made from people. Good luck, Timmy. Mwah. Bye bye, I love you! Dams can be anywhere from a few feet to a hundred feet high. They block up a river, forcing water to accumulate upstream or behind the dam. Accumulated water forms an artificial lake or reservoir. Anyone can now release the water whenever they want, either through two pipes underground called aqueducts, leading away from the reservoir or through the gates up in the dam letting the water flow back into the riverbed. There are floods. Damming it helps put the water flow under human control. And rivers with a heavy flow can be harnessed for hydroelectricity. When the water from hydroelectric dams reservoir is released, it flows past a special engine called the turbine. With the turbine, the moving water turns the turbine blade, and that motion is converted into electricity. Even other dams, like the Grand Coulee Dam in Washington, generates enough electricity to power entire towns and cities. Mr. Lizard! Mr. Lizard, do you copy? It's me, Timmy. Timmy? It's a dam, but it's getting, I'm getting closer to it. Timmy? Timmy, hello? Can you copy? Oh, who could that be? Mr. Lizard. We're gonna need another Jimmy.